vote for me tomorrow. I'm Uncle Kobe. I'm running for mayor. How do you like my song? Today, mayoral candidate Opal Covey kissed the babies and marched to the beat of a different drummer by singing her own campaign song. According to Opal, a singer named Kenny Bob provided backup. In the spirit of equal time, we ask all the candidates. Do you have a song? Well, I don't know if I should reveal it. Aw, <laughs> oh, come on. Remove the blight. Get down, get back. We're gonna do it again. We're going to repair the streets and restore recreation. Everybody now. Get down, get back. We're gonna do it again. We're gonna repair the streets and restore recreation. Unlike his competition, candidate Ray Kest did not provide the vocals for his song, which borrows from the classic hit, Ghostbusters. With all this music going on, it's hard to believe there's only one professional musician in the field of candidates. You must have a song. Right? We have a campaign song, and I'll be glad to share it with okay. you. Hey, catchy, play it again, Rick. I know some other folks have, have some songs, but uh, I'm not much of a singer. So it sounds like that didn't stop anyone else. There you go. Great. Great. City and county officials met in an emergency session this morning. They spoke on the steps of Government Center. We want to emphasize to every person in northwestern Ohio and southeastern Michigan that we do not have an emergency. That we all remain calm, that we go out and we vote. It's an election day. That's what this country was founded on. The terrorists will have struck. Toledo, Ohio, if Toledoans don't go out to vote. They say they are prepared for anything out of the ordinary. I don't really know. People said it might jump up. I'm just doing it just in case. At nearly every gas station in Toledo, cars lined up around the block. Well, how long have you been waiting? Probably about 15 minutes to a half an hour. Better get the gas before you go up high. Some stations hiked prices to nearly $2. Others held steady at a dollar and a half. Gas prices were just going through the roof, so I thought better now. Might mm -hmm. as well stop. But no matter what the price, the wait was at least half an hour. The line at least. 20 cars long. Toledo police were keeping a close eye on several downtown buildings. There's five buildings downtown. All of them are high rises. All of them uh, contain uh, uh, either federal officials or they are uh, very prominent in the business community that, that might be vulnerable to an attack. Toledo Police, Lucas County Sheriff's deputies and State Highway Patrol maintained high visibility, especially in the downtown area. It's important to realize we're going to go on about our daily business, both both the business community and the police department and the fire department, news reporters. Uh, we all have jobs to do and we're all going to do that. And today it was business as usual for many people who work downtown, even for those who work in Toledo's most prominent skyscraper. Yesterday they closed down the building and uh, everybody went home, but today, no. I think Toledo will be an awful small target. I don't think they're going to target, if they did, more terrorist attacks. I don't think the Midwest would have a whole lot to worry about. But worry or not, take a look at the security procedure for getting into government center. Yesterday it was locked down. Today it was open, 
but not exactly free. Do you have any cell phone on yet or anything you're carrying? County emergency management officials told us that they remained on a heightened staff alert, but that this has all been a precaution, not a reaction to any actual local emergency. We will find those who did it. We will smoke them out of their holes. We will get them running. And we'll bring them to justice. President Bush said today, we are at war and began to prepare the American people for a long, unrelenting war against terrorism. The State Department warned governments that they will be isolated if they tolerate or assist terrorist groups. Pakistan agreed to the full list of U.S. demands for a possible attack on neighboring Afghanistan. The president said today, Osama bin Laden is now the number one suspect. By Saturday morning, 152 bodies have been recovered from the World Trade Center ruins, but the number missing has jumped to a staggering 4,972. The death toll at the Pentagon, 189. A cold rain hampered the continued rescue effort. Only 20,000 tons has been removed from the estimated 1.25 million tons of debris. Air travel has resumed with unprecedented security. Meanwhile, a drastic drop in air travel caused Continental Airlines to cut its flight schedule by 20%. The New York Stock Exchange completed a successful test of its computer and communications systems. The way is now clear for trading to resume on Monday. Thank you so much, sir. By the dawn's early light, they drove by to give. Today, Clear Channel's radio stations held a relief drive. Thank you very much, sir. Since the attack, Toledoans are doing everything they can to help victims of September 11th. I want to be part of the effort, and it's so wonderful, you people standing out here in the rain. It's about what America does best. At lunchtime downtown, a semi-truck full of supplies loaded up and headed to the Big Apple. Everything inside the truck came from the 13 Action News Toledo Blade National City Bank relief effort. But really, money talks. So take a listen to how much money Toledoans have donated. The 13 Action News Blade National City Bank drive raised $60,000. Add that to several other major fundraisers and, drumroll please, $740,000 has been raised locally for relief efforts. And it's the thousands of Toledoans, like this guy, turning people. tears into cash. It's the best I can, yep, for right now. Right. I've, I've uh, donated everywhere I possibly can. Encouraging and heartfelt, and I, it's just a wonderful feeling, quite frankly. The generosity of this community, I cannot describe it is phenomenal. Everyone has been so thoughtful and so caring. Everybody's looking for a way to help, and I think we helped give them some way that they could help. Most people would tell you they dig through the rubble with their bare hands to help, but since they can't, they're digging in their wallets, and that may help even more. Rebecca Rainier, 13 Action News. Would you ever skip school? No. Why not? <laughs> it's bad, and I just don't want to do that. This Toledo Public School student has the right idea. Well, now the district and the city well, want to get it across to all students and parents. Well, the challenge of educating our children begins with them being in